Welcome back to the Polymer Project tutorial. This is Abhishek. Today we are going to talk about the Pepper Tabs element in a Polymer Project. Okay. Uh, the Pepper Tab element, I hope you guys have known this because uh, nowadays in uh, Android applications, it's a very common thing uh, to get uh, tabs on my header as well as in footer. Okay. If you compare with the iPhone application, uh, the tabs get in a footer. Right. Like this. Okay. These are the different different tabs available. Okay, with the animation also. If I click select it, it will automatically scroll and animate it. Okay, also with a different effect, with a transparent effect, with a scrolling effect, right? And with a link effect, with scrolling, with a core toolbar, within the core toolbar with a core toolbar and tall options and on a top scrolling option right so today i'm gonna see this it's very simple okay for that you need to import some files first of all as web component.js second is core icons for getting mm -hmm. icons fonts after that one of the most important that is the paper dash tabs and after core toolbar because we are using a toolbar over here okay after that the media queries if you want to manage your different different sites with the different uh, uis then you have to use this and paper dash icon dash buttons okay for these kind of buttons right icon buttons for that we need these files right here i have created a, some body css with the core toolbar and colors and shadows and all that okay so starting with the first tab okay here you can see the very simple just changing the colors of a selected tab right so it's very simple paper dash tab selected index you can set it to 0 1 2 whatever you want no ink no bar that means uh, it will not get selected options and uh, the bar will not there like a just bottom bar Okay for the second option no slide It will not slide, but we will get a bar like this It will not slide that means when I selecting it it automatically comes over there Okay, and in third options we have a no ink That means the sliding works Okay, and uh, in my ink tabs, it will automatically inks like it gives you the animation of click. Next, that is the transparent. Okay, so this is the class transparent class, right? Which we have to provide, it will automatically create a transparent UI just like this. Okay, when you select it will automatically get transferred transparent After that scroll it. Okay, you have to specify an attribute that is a scrollable attribute Okay, here you have to create, uh, As much tabs as you want. Okay, and but notice uh, The tab should be greater than the screen size then only the scroller will get executed otherwise it will not Right just like this After that it's a very simple again link you have to specify the link and after that a single simple a tag and a horizontal center layout whatever the design you want right after that tabs the most important thing right first of all here uh, we are creating a simple toolbar with a medium tall class as usual in my earlier videos and uh, a simple button with a menu text with the title and two buttons for the search and uh, more options just like here search and more option right after that in that i have to add a simple uh, pepper tab so i have created a simple div with a horizontal layout that means i'm gonna uh, add uh, the controls in it horizontally right uh, which have the class bottom fit
right it's a default class okay after that we have created a simple tab which have a flex flex means the 100% size with this max slide is a 600 okay maximum 600 after that it will not get executed and we have a three options as well in it the second toolbar is a tall toolbar okay with the starting selected with the tabs and after that the bottom are it's a bottom flex and the paper icon button at bottom icon search like this okay that means we have assigned at the bottom suppose we are changing this class let's see what happened see okay it goes to the top bar okay whatever you can set it it's up to you guys according to your requirement after that tabs align to bottom tabs align to bottom that means we are getting a top bar okay top sliding bar so here you have to align bottom you have to assign an attribute align bottom okay and uh, one more thing i guys uh, guys i would like to tell you that here there are different different properties as well if you follow the documentation properly here you can get all the detailed descriptions of your paper dash tabs control okay and uh, would like to focus on the attributes knowing no bar no slide scrollable disable drag hide scroll button align bottom okay from this documentation you can get all the attributes and the usage of that attributes for the paper buttons right and a simple update bar method which helps you to uh, show proper uh, sliding options after uh, by default if the, your uh, toolbar sorry your uh, paper button control is disabled or uh, sorry visible and then after you are uh, showing that at the time you have to use the update bar method just like here okay whenever we are getting change core media change okay suppose here i have added a simple media query and uh, when i get changed event of a media change then i'm gonna update the scroll tables okay i'm gonna update this that means it will automatically adjust the screen size and it will automatically adjust the bottom bar as well okay i hope you guys have enjoyed this video tutorial thanks for watching uh if you have uh, any uh, comment or suggestion you can send it to my youtube channel that is the web boosting or uh, uh, don't forget to subscribe this channel then bye, -bye.